As requested by our viewers, this video is an update on what the Hale's legal battle against Lynette and John, so stick with us till the end. Well, if you are not familiar with them, let us give you a quick info. What the Hales is a popular YouTube channel run by Jeremy Hales and his partner George. The duo has garnered a substantial following for their entertaining and informative content, centered around buying abandoned storage units at auction and reselling the contents for profit. They call themselves Fun Employed Treasure Hunters. Their videos are packed with suspense as they crack open each unit, revealing the treasures and sometimes trash hidden inside. Now, without any further delay, let's get to the legal battle between Jeremy and George against Lynette and John, whom Jeremy likes calling Lynette the not-so-friendly neighbor or Lynette and John Crook. Here are all the details you need to know. Some time ago, Jeremy and George purchased a property in Florida. Well, life in Florida at first seemed idyllic for Jeremy and George as they'd bought a property in Levy County and settled in for a peaceful life. But trouble soon came knocking on their door, disguised as a seemingly friendly couple named Lynette and John. Initially, they seemed like fans of the channel, but things took a dark turn. Jeremy mentions that Lynette and John started harassing them, demanding money, and even accusing them of inappropriate behavior towards their child. As per PJ Media, they were being stalked and harassed by the neighbors at gunpoint, defamed with posted signs all over their town, alleging heinous crimes against children, and more. But the neighbor problem didn't go away, so Jeremy had to file for a protective order against his female neighbor, but the state of Florida wouldn't give him one. Finally, Jeremy filed in his home state of Ohio, where a judge took the matter seriously and immediately granted the protective order. Subsequently, the neighbor also filed a protective order against Jeremy in Florida, which Judge Craig DeThomasis temporarily granted. The injunction against Jeremy included an overbroad restriction on his free speech, ordering him not to talk about his neighbor on his YouTube channel. The situation escalated when Jeremy shared courtroom footage online, leading to further legal complications and accusations from the judge. Well, Jeremy mentioned that Judge Craig DeThomasis was biased toward their neighbors, and we can see why through the video available. Regardless, here's the quick timeline of the case hearing in Florida. The first hearing happened on November 2023, followed by second hearing on December 6, 2023. The third hearing on January 4th took a turn for the worst, when someone called in a bomb threat and the entire building was evacuated. The fourth hearing happened on January 23rd, which was followed by the fifth hearing on February 28th. After the fifth hearing, Jeremy filed a writ of prohibition to have the judge removed. He seeked justice in federal court, filing a lawsuit against Lynette and John M. Cook on March 4th for assault libel and slander. Well, the case will be heard in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Florida by Zachary C. Belitho. It will take some time for the case. Well, in the meantime, Jeremy has been collecting information and evidence against Leonette and John Crook from former neighbors, family, and other private investigators. He's pretty sure once the judges sees this, they will go off on Leonette. Well, he has shared some information on Leonette's dark history. He even shared that the Levy County Sheriff is finally going to arrest Leonette and John for violating the protective order. Apart from that, the duo also shared the court hearing that happened in Ohio on October 10th, 2023. Unlike Judge Thomas's, this judge seems more unbiased towards anybody and handled the case very professionally without falling for any emotions. And the Hales fans are happy about that. Well, the case is now in the hands of a federal court. So let's see what happens next. And if you want to help George and Jeremy in this legal battle, you can donate them some funds. Well, one What the Hales fan, Debbie Vaughn, has started a GoFundMe campaign, Let's Help Jeremy and George Hales with Legal Fees, to raise $200,000 for their upcoming legal battle. But regardless of what happens next, we will be there to update you. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Before going, make sure to share your thoughts on What the Hales legal saga and whose side are you on. We have also made a full video on Jeremy and George's battle with Outer Creek Town Hall and corrupt officials, so don't forget to check that out too.